Hello, hello, hello. Hi guys, good morning. Welcome back to a new video. In this video, we're going to see the minimum number of operations to make word K periodic. If you have not solved question number three, you can just see the link will be down below. You can just search by the problem name by R method. You get the video. Now, it simply says that we are given a string word of size n and an integer K such that K divides n. So, string S, a word, string word, the length of the string, the length of the string is n and an integer k, where as you can see the k divides n, which means I can have k, like groups of k. So this is k, k, k and k, I can have any multiple of k, that, that means k divides n. In one operation, I can pick any two indexes i and j such that they are divisible by k, okay, which means they are mentioning these start indexes of these groups. They are mentioning, okay, I can be this and then J can be this. This is what they are mentioning. And then replace the substring of length K starting at index I with the substring of length K starting at index J. So, I can replace the substring, which is this green portion, I can replace it with this pink portion. He is saying this part and he is mentioning of length K and I have already made sure that this is of length K. So, I can replace this pink substring with this green so this green one will go away and this pink one will come at this place this is what they are mentioning here now ultimately i have to return the minimum number of operations required to make the word k periodic what they mean by k periodic k periodic simply means that if there is some string s of length k such that the word can be obtained by concatenating s an arbitrary number of times so they are just saying that I have some string S, I have to concatenate that string some number of times and then get the original string word. So, and again, you know that all the string S is actually, as you can see, length of length K. So, this is of length K itself. So, there is no arbitrary number of times. You know that, that, that length K, length K, length K. So, if it has to become N, if it has to become n, so I have to concatenate this. How many times? n by k times. I have to concatenate this string s of length k. Now, this is what I want. Again, these I have to concatenate, concatenate, and concatenate this string s. And this string is an s are exactly same. This is s, this is s, this is s. So, and they are asking you, this one operation, where? In worst case, what do you see? What is, the, what, is the, what is the worst case possible? That you take one of these strings. Okay, let's not change the color. You take one of these strings, which is the pink strings, which is this string. Let's name it as this string as, let's say C. So you take this string and you simply place at, again, this is a string A, this is a string B, and this is a string C. If I mention this as one string, this is A, this as B, this as C. So I'm saying in worst case, it is possible that you take this string C and place it at string A. You take the string C, place it at string B. This is the worst case. So, worst case answer is n minus 1 operations. Or basically, I can say, if I have n by k times, I have these groups. So, n by k minus 1 is the worst case possible. Now, for you, you have to return the minimum number of operations, which is the best case. So, what you can simply do, if I look at this example, I know that first group is lead, next group is code, next group is lead. I know that I have to make all the groups as same. All the groups should be same. So either all the groups can be lead, 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 or all the groups can be code, code, code. This is a, this is what I'm saying. If if it is if if you want that these should be lead, lead, again lead, 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 or you are saying that it can be code, code code I mean, it, it's, it's possible right to have lead i can just simply place a lead at this location to have a code i can simply place code here and code here and again i cannot have something else that's the only two possibilities very obviously here you are only replacing code with lead these remains as it is so you don't have to change them you don't have to change them only one is changing while on this case you have to change lead to code lead to code so two are changing so Obviously, you can figure out that what you should actually change. You should change the one which is occurring minimum number of times. Or ultimately, I can also say that you should never change the one occurring maximum number of times. So, lead is occurring the 
most more times it is occurring two times others occurring less times so whosoever is occurring more times maximum number of times i will take him and i will make others as what he is so i'll make others as lead i'll make others as lead so i'll simply find how many others are there it's it is simply if i have if i if if i know i have n by k these groups will be n by k i, I can see i have three groups i know my lead is occurring two times so i can simply subtract minus two so one is the operations required to make everyone others others as lead for example in this case also i have first group as two okay this is two this is two this is two this is two and this is two right okay you can see l e l e occurring twice e t e t occurring twice c o occurring once so i know maximum frequency is two you can take either l e or e t okay maximum frequency is two right maximum frequency is two i also know i have how many groups one two three four five or i should simply say the length is n so n by k n is one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so i have 10 by 2 i have these as five groups five groups i know that two groups are already le are already le so i have to get i have to replace three groups so i can simply say i'll replace this group with le so he will become le i can replace this group with le he will become le i can replace this group with le he will become le so the answer is three and that's the only answer cool so the code is pretty simple exactly what we saw above that we'll firstly get iterate on the entire string and i know that this is one substring this is one group for this one string s i will take the map what is the frequency because i want the one having the maximum frequencies and you can also see that i'm keeping out the maximum frequency which is this two in this r case which is this two in our case then ultimately i know when i've got the maximum frequencies my answer is n by k n by k minus this maximum frequency answer is n by k minus maximum frequency and that's the answer as simple as that as you can simply see the time for this entire thing will be o of n and space as you can simply see the space will be used by this and this can store all these strings so space will also be o of n this is the time and space make sure the time is not o of n square because i am doing a plus k so starting with the index i i am getting the string of length k and then going on to the next index which is i plus k that is the reason I will go on to all the characters exactly once. And that's my time and space complexity. Cool. Thank you for watching. Goodbye. Take care. Bye bye.